News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. Happening now, construction crews continue working on the state-funded border wall in Star County. It's going up on state and private-owned land, and according to officials with the Texas Department of Public Safety, its exact location is well-known for criminal activity. Right now, Governor Greg Abbott is crowdfunding to help pay for border wall construction in our state. As of earlier this month, more than $55 million have been donated. According to the Department of Homeland Security, the Remain in Mexico policy is now being enforced in the Valley. This means asylum hopefuls will be sent back to Mexico through the Brownsville Port of Entry. The program requires migrants to stay in Mexico until their immigration court date in the U.S. President Biden tried to end the program last year, but a federal judge ordered it be reinstated. Right now, the Biden administration is asking the Supreme Court to weigh in on the program, but the justices have not yet made a decision on taking up the case. These three men on your screen, all in jail in connection to the murder of 42-year-old Gabriel Quintanilla of McAllen. All three teens were arraigned yesterday. According to police, the incident started when a child alerted someone that Quintanilla had touched them inappropriately. After the teens confronted Quintanilla, a fight broke out and continued at several locations before he was dumped in McAllen. All three suspects have been charged with aggravated assault and engaging in criminal activity. Turning now to weather, it's a cool and wet start to the week with some light rain and drizzle. Highs will be in the 50s. That's your News in 60. Have a great day. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.